Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to do a little uh, project share. Um, I have never made wax seals before and if you follow my channel, I did haul a bunch of wax seal stuff from KS Craft, um, I don't know, maybe like two months ago or something, and I still haven't used it. So I thought today, while I had a chance, I would go ahead and give it a try. Also, I was watching Ida, who is created to create, and she had gotten a new silicone mat to make her wax seals. So I went ahead and ordered that from Amazon, and um, I just got it yesterday. So I thought, perfect day to try it out. So welcome to my channel, welcome to my wax seal uh, journey. So let's uh, try it together. Okay, so this is what I got from Amazon. And I'll link it down below in case you're interested too. But it's a small um, silicone mold for wax seals. And I know that <clears throat> Ida said she liked it because it was smaller. Like you don't need to make a gazillion at once, you know? So, so there it is, and it's just a shallow, let's see, oops, sorry, shallow uh, circle about one and a quarter inches in diameter, and it comes with these stickery things, I'm not sure what those are for, and tweezers as well, wow, those are big, huge tweezers. All right, so I'm, I don't know what that's for. I will look into that. But so I have that, and then I got from KS Craft, I'll link these products down below too, the little stove thingy, and you put a tea light in there. So why don't we get that going before I show you everything else, and we could start uh, heating that up. So I assume, I got my lighter here. And you could do this in lots of different ways. Um, I like the idea of having a tea light. I just like the old fashionedness of it. And I got where, okay, this is the spoon that I got from KS Craft. You could get this in different colors. So this spoon you just rest on top with some wax in it. And then when it's melted, you pour it out the little spout onto one of those or into one of those cavities. And then I got a handle, I got a pink handle for the seals and you just use this to like interchange or you know use one of these and then interchange the different seals. Oops, so there's that one. And the seals I got, I got this one that's a little mixer and I got a uh, apron and did I, I guess I didn't get the gingerbread man, but I have this one from uh, Michael's from a while ago. That's a heart, but I'm not going to use that today. I think I'm going to use one of those. So, and these wax uh, little cube thingies, I got these from Chaos Craft. They do sell them in like single colors, but I thought this would be a good like trial thing. So I know you're supposed to use like three or four for each, uh, for each seal right so let's pick out let's do pink first so i'll put let's try three first see how that goes so they're starting to melt already this is fun hopefully it doesn't come out too bad i am not uh after perfection for these i like the homemade look of them when they're kind of wonky um i mean i think the circle mold will help that Boy, these nails are not helping me open this. But, um, you know, I just think it'll be fun. And then I like how people like uh, color them with some gold after. I think that would be nice too. All right, so I'm gonna use the mixer and it's got like flowers on the side. I thought that was really pretty. And just twist that on. And then I know once you pour it in, you put this on top of the mold and let it sit for a second until it cools a little bit and then take it off. So, okay, as you could see, they're melting very nicely. So I'll be back in one second when, once this is all melted. All right, it looks like it's melted. Uh, as you could see, this is a right-handed person spoon. It's got the little spout on the right-hand side. 
but uh, that's all right. I'll work with it. I should be able to do it. And it melted pretty quick. I mean, I didn't have the phone off, my, my camera phone off for that long. And it looks like, um, let me just zoom in so you can see. It looks like there's like little bubbles in the wax here. Sorry for my lighting. Um, when I use my glass mat, I have to turn off some of the lights in my craft room because it's uh, there's too much of a glare, so um, that's why it's a little darker. But uh, yeah, I wanted to use a glass mat in case I get wax all over everything. And this glass mat I got from Glassboard Studio, and I do have a coupon code in my uh, description box all the time in case you're interested for 20% off. All right, so that looks melted. Let's go ahead and pour this into one of the cavities. Let's just do this one. And that might not have been enough wax. Whoops. And I made a mess. Let's just put that down and let that sit for a minute. And we'll see what it looks like. And then we'll try another one, maybe with four cubes. All right, is that long enough? I don't know, let's see. Mm. All right, it's still stuck, but let me try and peel it off. Oh, that's cute. Oh, isn't that adorable? Yeah, I think it needs four cubes. So I could remelt this, which I think I will, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll add another one. Just kind of crush it so it can fit back in the spoon. All right, so there's that. And let's get another pink one out. Oh, this is fun. And these, once you're done with them, <clears throat> you can use them in their traditional sense on the back of envelopes. Usually, you know, you would just pour the wax right on the back of an envelope and then seal it from there. So you could do that. Or in terms of uh, this kind of project, you can use them as a center of bows or embellishments. Here, let me put that other one in there so it'll melt. Um, I don't know, you can make them into charms too. So I like the whole idea of this. I love candles. I think this is really nice and relaxing. And yeah, all right, I'll come back when it's melted again. All right, so I remelted that one melt or the one seal and added another one. So it looks like it's all ready. So let's try it again. Pour it all in. So it looks like for this size, four will probably be good. All right back on there. Let's put our seal thingy on there. And it's nice and heavy too, so it presses nicely into the mold. You don't have to do anything. I know you just leave it there. It probably doesn't really matter if you leave it too long, but you don't want to leave it too short of a time. So maybe give it 15 seconds, something like that. All right, I'm impatient, let's check. Oh, that's cute. And yes, it's uh, not very even, but that's okay. It's my first one. And like I said, I like the homemade look of that. So I'm gonna keep that one. All right, let's make another one and let's kind of make like a swirl color because there's still a little bit of pink in my spoon. So I'm gonna add, let's add the darker, oops. All right, I added two different colors. All right, so this will definitely be an experiment. Oops, and we'll let that melt and I'll be right back. So it's been <clears throat> about a minute and as you can see, it's mostly melted and I'm not gonna swirl it around. I'm just gonna pour it in like that. So hopefully it has kind of like a little marble effect on the mat. So let's go ahead and give it a try. This has a little bit of the pink left, the light teal and the darker teal. Let's see, So I'm just gonna pour it in. I guess as evenly as I can, which is not very even and squish that in. I'm thinking it might need five of the little wax hexagons or octagons, but hopefully that wouldn't overflow in the spoon. 
I don't know, it depends on how big you want them. But this one is pretty thin on the edge. But I love this mixer, it's got like flower detail on it. It's so nice and shiny too. So there's that, and then I have the other seal ready too, the apron, I thought we would try that as well. All right, I'm just gonna let that sit a little bit longer and maybe decide what color we'll do next. I think I might pour this out. Oh, it's smoking a little bit. And just start fresh maybe with white next time. Just wipe it out. All right, that should be good. Peel it off. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that effect. Yeah, this is a little small. I'm gonna try five in the next one, but I love that marbling, isn't that pretty? Yeah, this is a little little defective, but that's okay. I don't wanna remelt that one because it'll get too, uh, too mushy, I think. All right, I'm gonna wipe out my spoon. This would be a good time to have two spoons, wouldn't it? But let me do that over my garbage. And I'm using a paper towel just to wipe it out. Being careful not to touch the spoon part because it's pretty hot. Okay, so there's that, nice and clean. Let's try white. I'm gonna do five different whites, or five white pieces. One, two, three, four, five. And that'll be about a minute and a half until it melts. While it's melting, in case you wanna watch it melt, <laughs> I figured I would change the stamp. So we're gonna be doing this apron and it's got little hearts all around it. I love the detail of it, isn't that really pretty? Um, there is a gingerbread one on this site, which I, I'm sure I will get at some point, probably in my next KS Craft order. Um, I am on the design team, but I do purchase things myself as well. There's actually some strawberry paper on the site right now that I want to get and some other paper too. So maybe I'll make an order later. I might even get some more wax melts too. And they just smell a little waxy in case you're curious while it's melting. Nothing bad or anything like that. So, you know, just a, a slight scent, not scent, smell. So it's almost melted. It doesn't take long at all. This is uh, very concentrated. The, the uh, spoon is pretty much right on the flame itself. So it melts really quickly. And this little stand thingy comes in different designs as well. Um, I don't remember why I picked this one. I think I just liked it the best. So it's almost all melted. Have you guys done wax melts? Do you have any tips for me? Um, am I doing something wrong that you see? Please let me know. Um, I know it's pretty much trial and error, but if you have some you know, trials or tips that you have, um, I would love to hear them. I just really like this. Yeah. All right, so that looks like it's about melted. Uh, we're gonna do the apron and just give it three more seconds and then maybe I'll do the heart one too from Michael's this one's smaller obviously okay so let's do the big one I'm gonna pour it all in and maybe there's a way to pour it into the mold that I don't know I should probably spread it out a little more right all right so I'm just gonna plop this on now I felt like I moved it so it's probably not gonna be even and let's, while that's working, let's add, uh, let's do some of the darker ones into the white that's here to make the smaller mold. And this one we'll only do, let's do three. So I'll do one more white and two dark teals. And then that should be enough for this mold or stamp, seal, whatever. <laughs> All right, and this one might be ready, let's see. Oh yeah, I totally moved that, but I like it in the white. And isn't that a cute seal? Yeah, so I think I have to get better at just putting this right in the middle and leaving it there, not moving my hand. So I'm gonna remelt this one because it's so cute. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna use this one. This one, I like them a little imperfect, but this one is just bad. So we'll leave that there to melt again, maybe after this is done, and then we'll do it again. 
I know that um, Hobby Lobby has sealing wax as well. And then there are um, like these I got at Hobby Lobby a while ago and I tried to use it in my glue gun like it says here and it did not work out because by the time it heated up in the glue gun and then when I squeezed it out of the glue gun, I was using this for molds, not for wax seals, but uh, it just like it would cool too fast to pour into the mold so it, it was uh, it didn't look right so I stopped using it for that but I could use this wax for in there just cut it up and not use it for the glue gun yeah all right so there's that and this looks like it's just about done it's pretty because it looks like the teal can you see that it's got a little shimmer to it and the white is more matte careful oh I spilled some <laughs> Okay, I like to make a mess. Okay, let's pour that in there. And this one is going to be the small. And we'll plop that on. Oh, that one totally skated. Oh, that's not going to be good. All right, let's break this up. And I will leave that little bit of teal in there. Because why not? I think the marbling is a really fun touch. I wonder if that's going to overflow. But I'll clean up my burner later, of course. This, I think I used too much wax for this little seal because there's going to be a huge lip on that. All right, let's take off the seal. This one is very... Um, small and not as detailed but it's a pretty heart I just don't like all that wax around the outside so I'll save that to redo get the wax off my fingers and I'll be right back when the white's all melted all right the white's melted gonna pour it into a cavity it's got a slight swirl of teal on it get the stamp straight in And while we're waiting for that, I will remelt this one. And then I think after this one, we'll be done for now. Just want to show you my first time doing wax seals. In case you were, you know, feeling intimidated like me, it's really easy. I mean, you know. Maybe not really easy to get it perfect, but it's easy to do in theory. All right, so there's that. Oh, that's so cute. Love that. That's really nicely marbled, that one. And not perfect, but I am good with that. I don't like perfect in these. Yeah, that one's my favorite so far. All right, we'll do one more and yeah, that'll be it. So yeah, if, you, uh, if you're interested in this, again, I'll leave all the product links down below. Hobby Lobby has seals, Michaels has seals, but I really like the big size of these ones from KS Craft. They are about an inch, I think, an inch and an eighth. So they fit nicely in these cavities, which is just a little bit bigger than that. And you do want it a little bit bigger, so there's room. Uh, to press this down and uh, the wax won't um, come up, won't overflow. So, yeah, fun to collect, I think. Got to think of some other projects to do with these, but I like the idea of charms and maybe rosette centers. That would be nice because you could use them on a nice big rosette. Oops. This is just about done. I guess these stickers are to put on the back of your wax seals, so that's really cool. So you don't have to, you know, make them as a official seal. You could just keep them like this, add a uh, sticky to the back of them, and then stick them onto your envelope or whatever. So that's kind of neat. And I'm sure the tweezers are to take them out of the mold, but eh, it's easy enough to use your hands. Is that a bubble? Yeah. Okay, so that's done. Let's pour this one. All 
right, right in the middle. I do need to practice getting it in the middle and keeping it there. And you don't need to use one of these molds. Of course, you could just pour a blob of wax on a silicone mat or a glass mat, something like that. Now this one, this is extra. I wonder if I could use this for the little one. I don't think it's enough extra. No. Oh well. But I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna wipe this out before it cools. And once I blow out the candle, I'll wipe the wax off there as well. All right, so yeah, that didn't work. It's just a little half of a heart. So, but let's try this one. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, so I still have to get better at going all the way to the edge, but um, you know, looks nice just like that, I think, as a wax seal. So thanks for joining me today on my little um, quest for wax seals. And it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions? Um, I probably can't answer them, but I will be happy to try. Links again to the products will be down below. All right, guys, have a great week. Bye. All right, I lied. I just did one more. <laughs> and I think this one came out great. So yeah, thanks again for watching.